Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at the best Android apps for 2017. So, let's get started. The first app on our list is Brave Browser. It has a similar interface as Google Chrome. And not only a fast and free browser, but also has a built-in ad block, tracking and security protection, and data and battery optimization. So once you open a website in the browser, on the top right hand corner, you can click on the lion head to discover per size settings. From here, you can manage ad block and other security settings. So the next app is MK File Manager. It has a simple, clean, and material design UI. It comes with a built-in gallery, text editor, music player. It can extract both zip and RR files. It supports 20 languages. It also has root access capability and you can change the color and appearance of the file manager according to your needs. You can open two windows to view files and you can just swipe to switch panels. The next app is EV Launcher. It's a clean and beautiful looking launcher and the best alternative to Nova Launcher. It has a faster and better app drawer which supports list and grid view at the same time. It comes with a universal search feature where it searches inside all your apps and finds contact, restaurant, TV show and more. In the settings you can manage home screen grid and icon size. You can also customize dog, change icon packs, and it also has a built-in unread badges unlike in Nova Launcher. In the settings, you can also back up and restore your settings. The next step on our list is Circle Sidebar. It provides easy multitasking from anywhere in the phone. With just a swipe, you can access app and quick settings without going to app drawer or settings. You can also customize the way it works and you can also change its icons and looks. The next app is Chroma Keyboard. It's a material keyboard which changes its color according to the app you are using. It has a spacebar gesture to fast delete, delete all, move cursor, fast selection and Google Now integration. It has split layout and one hand mode for faster typing with just one thumb. It supports multi-language typing and night mode as well. The next app is Slash Keyboard. Slash gives you quick access to things you share every day. All you need to do is you just need to tap Slash and you can access many services and share things like photos, places, music, search results, contacts and much more. You can also create your own slash and use them to save your time from typing long text or common things like email, phone number, etc. Talking about keyboards, the next app is Bobble Keyboard. It creates your personalized GIFs and stickers. All you need to do is you need to take a selfie and it will create stickers and GIFs using your face. And you can also edit and customize the GIFs and stickers. It also lets you change keyboard themes by using pictures and different colors. You can also use these cool looking fonts to impress your friends. And the best thing is that you get all those things for free and there is no in-app purchase. The next app is L-Speed. It improves overall performance, reduces significant lags and extends battery life by running few scripts from the app. You need to root access in order to run this app. The next app is Magisto Movie Editor. It automatically turns your photos and video clips into music videos. All you need to do is you need to select a video or photos, then choose a style, then choose a soundtrack and give it a title, add description and it will generate a music video for you. The next app is Alive Movie Maker. It's a video editor and movie maker with filters and animation effects. It also has intuitive video editing tools by which you can trim, crop and reorder to set focal points, adjust motion track animation effects, 
And you can also set your own video format to 16 is to 9 cinema or square. You can add video filters like lens, flares, light leaks, film effects and light overlays. You can add and customize text. You can also add soundtracks from the library or you can add your own music. The next app is PixArt. It's the best photo editor app on Google Play. It comes with hundreds of photo editing tools. You can either edit a photo, make a collage or draw a sketch. It has lots of editing tools. It has magic filter similar to Prisma app. It also has some cool photo filters and you can add text and give it different styles. It also supports multiple layers, mask and some callout stickers. The next app is Photoscan. It's a scanner app from Google that lets you scan and save your printed photos using your phone's camera. You just need to scan a picture of your printed photo, then scan the four corners and it will save your printed photo in your phone. After it saves the picture, you can also edit the four corners of the picture to make it look perfect. The next app is Moon Plus Reader. It supports many file formats like EPUB, PDF, TXT, HTML, RIR, ZIP, and much more. It supports adding bookmark and different gestures, intelligent paragraph, trim unwanted blank space option, keep your eyes held option, dual page mode for landscape screen. It also supports backup restore option to cloud, and it also shows your reading statistics. You can also read thousands of ebooks for free online from ebook libraries. The next app is IA Writer. It's a simple, plain text editor which is designed to provide a focused writing experience. It has features like night mode, focus mode, and word count. It supports text formatting like heading, italics, bold, bullets, and etc. It can export files and formats like plain text, HTML, PDF, and MS Word. It also supports beautiful preview templates with curated fonts. The next app is InstaDick. It lets you view a word's meaning anywhere in your phone. You just need to copy the word and shake your device horizontally and the meaning will appear at the bottom of the window. It also supports offline mode with an appropriate dictionary app installed. The next app is Fluently. It sends cleverly brilliant AI-generated responses to your messages with a single tap on your smartphone or smartwatch. It works with apps like SMS, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Google Hangout, etc. Once you get a message, just tap on one of the suggested replies and it will send the message automatically. You can also enable bot which will send a message automatically without you doing anything. The next app is Flat Chat. It's an app which opens chat in chat heads like in Facebook Messenger. Once you receive a message, Flat Chat will notify you with a small bubble and by clicking on the bubble, a full chat window will appear. From there, you can easily reply to messages without closing your current open app. It supports uh, many apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, Hangouts, Line, Skype, Twitter, and more. The next app is Flyperlink. It's a browser optimized for multitasking on mobile devices. Once you click on a link, it opens the link in a floating browser that remains in front of your apps, similar to Flatjet that we have seen before. It also supports adblock, domain and app redirect, text selection, and many more features. The next app is Parallel Space. It lets you clone and run multiple accounts of the same app simultaneously and use themes for cloned apps. It also protects user privacy by making apps invisible on device with the incognito installation feature. And you can also protect your privacy by using a built-in security lock. The next app is Swipe for Facebook. It's a Facebook wrapper app which integrates the light Facebook mobile website into the app which has similar user interface as our Facebook app. It's a lightweight, highly customizable and battery friendly Facebook alternative. It also has a dark theme which is good for your eyes and it saves battery life. So if your Facebook app is slow or it drains a lot of battery, 
then this app is for you. The next app is Scene. Well, it's not really an app, but it's an interactive story game where you have different outcomes based on your choices. You can also make your own stories with Storymaker and share it with the world. And you can also play other players' stories. It's a really fun app, so please go and check it out, guys. The next app is Talk Live. It's an app where you can talk and post about your life problems with other people in the community. You can also help each other by sharing tips and advices. You can also post your problems anonymously and you can send private messages and gifts to the user in the talk life. Uh, so if you are someone who is really sad and depressed or going through a lot of problems in your life, then you can use this app to share your problem with other people. The next app is Parallel Windows. In Nougat, you can only open different apps in split screen mode, but this app allows you to open same app in split screen mode. Just swipe left and you will get a shortcut to toggle split screen. The next app is Radon. It lets you share things to everyone nearby. As soon as somebody open Radon on their device, they automatically open whatever you shared. Radon uses your sensor to broadcast link and it can share to many devices at the same time. The next app is Gravity Screen. This app is very useful if your phone's power button is hard to reach or it is broken. This app will automatically turn the screen off when you put your phone into your pocket or onto a table. And it turns the screen on when you take it out of your pocket or when you pick it up. The next app is Remix Live. This app lets you remix music with sync loops, sounds, and effects. You can load samples on a grid of pads and tweak them in seconds. You can recall live input through the device microphone and capture any sound, voice, or instrument. You can fine tune your samples by editing their length and envelope. You can also change the tempo, adjust samples tone, or play them in reverse mode all in real time. Talking about music, the next app is Movis. This app displays a music visualizer beneath your navbar while you are listening to the music. Even if you don't have an on-screen navbar on your phone, you can make the app show visualizer above your hardware navigation. You can also customize the style of the visualizer according to your needs. The next app is Mr. Phone. It lets you search any phone and look at specifications and features. It also allows you to compare phones by comparing their specification, images, and prices. It also helps you to find the phone according to your needs. Just use the filter option to choose from 14 predefined parameters from brands, operating system, screen, battery, RAM, and many more. It also provides news and updates of all the tech events of the mobile world. The next app is Tapid. It's a wallpaper app which automatically generates high quality wallpaper. The wallpaper is generated according to your device screen resolution, so wallpapers are always in the highest possible quality. Every wallpaper is generated in the app and no images is downloaded from the internet. You can also set the app to surprise you with a new wallpaper hourly or daily, so you will never see the same wallpaper twice. The next app is Fingerprint Gestures. It enables the fingerprint actions of Google Pixel on your device. You can use gestures like single tap, double tap, or fast tap to control your phone or tablet. The next app is Snap Swipe Drawer. It allows you to add widgets in the notification drawer so you can access widgets from anywhere from notification drawer without closing the app. You just need to swipe from the top right to access widgets. The next app is Zeus Music Strobe Light. It turns your phone into a strobe light or flashlight that listens to the music around you and flashes accordingly. It has three modes, clap mode, music mode, and beat mode. So you can install this app on many devices and use them as strobe light in parties and events. Cool, right? So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like and make sure to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one.